Praise the Lord, everybody. You're welcome to our Bible study. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. You're welcome to our Bible study. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Everybody, you're welcome to a Tuesday Bible study. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yes, sir. We got it. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to our Bible study today. So our Bible <coughs> today is our Bible study. <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Amen. Oh, God bless me. God bless me. But anyway, I have a song that we always play a song before we start our Bible study. But today I have a song I'm gonna sing briefly that God gave me. Thank you, Jesus. You are the owner of my soul. Half and Omega, you are worthy to be praised. In our generation, there is no one like you. Half and Omega, you are worthy to be praised. Say thank you, Jesus, you are the owner of my soul. Half and Omega, you are worthy to be praised. In our generation, there is no one like you. Half and Omega, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. Almighty God, you are worthy to be praised. O many potent Lord, you are worthy to be praised, O Lord. My brothers and sisters, you are welcome to our Bible study, the Vestures of Christ. Bible study, we always so glad and um, double excited to see all of your line. Now and after, when well, we send it to our, uh, to our social media, thank you everyone for your like, for your comment, for your encouragement. We appreciate that. And that we are praying that as you are seeing or twitching, listening to it, that something we said, song or, or, or preaching or teaching will change your life, that your life will not remain the same and you receive jesus christ your lord and Savior. if you have not and if you do you will take jesus serious and do more things for god to keep his commandment let us pray uh, every time before we start we start our music father in the name of jesus i thank you for today i thank you for health i thank you for healing I thank you for strength. I thank you for strength. I thank you for love. I thank you for joy. I thank you for peace. I thank you, thank you, thank you. I bless your holy name for all your children out there, oh God, that are going to come across this teaching, this preaching. Thank you, Lord, for what you're going to be doing in their heart, what you're going to do in their soul, what you're going to do in their mind so that they will repent, so that they will change. And the ones that have repented will repent more so that all of us will come to you and obey your word. And after that and done, you will gain all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. I cover this vicinity with the blood of Jesus everywhere online. Every gadget we're using, I cover the blood of Jesus and no weapon that form against this Bible study or every other person on this Bible study shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. And we go back to our song. Your song is where we start. We start with our song. And today is Gigi Day. Amen. <laughs>
finish with it and now let's start our bible study today we're going to start with uh, pericope second Chron chronicles 25 26 and we'll cover the 27 and uh, the title today the, play the place we're going to deal with the story of Amaziah, Uzea and Ezekiah and well, let's read uh, pericope second chronicle 25 Verse 2. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, but not wholeheartedly. After the kingdom was firmly in his control, he executed the officials who had murdered his father's king. Mm. Amaziah did what was right on the outside, but inside he often resented. Um, what he had to do his obedient was at best half-heartedly when the prophet promised god's deliverance amazer first complained about the money that had been lost and he valued military success more than god's will we must search our heart we must search our own heart 
and root and root out any resistance to obeying God. Grudgingly, compliance is not true obedience. When you are when you are uh, when you are someone that grudge all the time and complain all the time, you are not giving God that true obedience. So our title: Give God true obedience. Give God true obedience. Amazon made a financial agreement. Uh, made a financial agreement uh, with Israelite soldiers, offering to pay them to fight for him. Whatever we're doing in life. Even even in life of we're doing is doing something with normal human beings, you gotta be truthful though. Because like I said, if you're not truthful, if you're not honest, when you do half heartedly one, you know, one time you are warm, one time you are cold, one time you are even human beings will not appreciate you, they will not keep you as friends, not to talk of God. So Amazon made a financial agreement with Israelite soldiers offering to pay them to fight for him. But before they could, but before they could go to battle, Amazon sent them home with their pay because of the prophet warning. Although it cost him plenty, he wisely realized that the money was not what the room, the alliance could cost. How would you have reacted? Money must never stand in the way of making right decision. Amen. Amen. Money, I said that again, money must never stand in the way of making right decision. The Lord's favor is priceless. The Lord's favor is priceless. What more than any amount of money? After the victory, Amazon returned and sacrificed to idols. We are very respectable to sin after great victories. It is then that we feel confident, relaxed, and ready to celebrate. If in that excitement we let our defense down, Satan can attack us, attack with all sorts of temptation. So when you win, when you are in victory, when you, when you, when you are in your place of uh, rejoicing for you've win or you have done something right or something you are begging God, God has given it to you, when miracles have come to you, when you find come across breakthrough everything you're begging god come be careful because satan will be excited when you lose your when you when you when you let your your defense down satan will attack with all sort of temptation and when you win watch out after the mountain peaks comes the values after the man, mountain peaks comes the value amazon made a foolish mistake by worshiping the gods of the nation he had just conquered Impressed by the accomplishment of the Edom, Edomites, Amaziah worshipped their idols. How foolish to serve the gods of defeated army. We make the same mistake as Amaziah when we run after money, power, recognition, fame, and other things like, you know, earthly things. By recognizing the emptiness of this worldly pursuit, we can free ourselves from the desire to follow them in this par parable judah is the tester and israel army is the cedar azira was poor proud after defeating edom he wanted to defeat israel but joshua warned him not to attack azira had more ambition than ability he paid for it when he was suddenly defeated don't let ambition my brothers and sister and pride into your life don't let ambition and pride into your life for because they will destroy you before you know it they are like canker worm they will destroy you so don't let ambition and pride into your life at all for they will cause you to forget god and when you forget god you are already destroyed so don't forget god in your life we are never close to failure than during our greatest success like i said if we fail to recognize God's part in our achievement, in our life, in everything we do, they are no better than failures. As Uzziah, also called Azira, was a remarkably successful king. His achievement brought him fame. He was successful in war and peace, in planning and execution, in building and, and planting. Azira, Azira, Uzziah, 
overestimated his own importance in bringing about great achievement he experienced. He did so many things well that a consuming pride gradually like a priest, he took on a role that God did not mean for him to have. He had forgotten not only how much God had given him, but also that God had certain roles for others that he needed to respect. Uzziah's pride was rooted in his lack of thankfulness. We have no account of this king, of this king's ever showing appreciation to God for the marvelous gift he received. Our accomplishment may not compare with Uzziah, uh, but we still own a debt of thanksgiving to God for our very lives. When you wake up in the morning, I don't care what you, what you have, what you don't have, your life, what you, what how you see life, your perspective of life, everything. You owe God a debt of thankfulness because you live. If God is not getting the credit for your success, should not you start looking at your life differently? Be careful. If God is not getting the credit for you, uh, that you deserve for your success, check your life because you got to look your life differently and you got to have a different perspective because things will not work right. Strength and accomplishment. Please God during his early years as king successful warrior and city builder skillful in skillful uh skillful in organizing and delegating and delegating reign for 52 years wow witness and mistakes develop a prideful attitude due to his great success whenever we make it in life satan won't attack us with pride want to see her. I did it myself. Be careful. Learn how to give God the glory. Learn how to give God thanks. Learn how to give God. Even when you say tomorrow, learn how to say by the grace of God. Don't do anything without mentioning God. Try to perform the priest's duties in direct, in direct disobedience to God. Fail to remove many of the symbols of idolatry in the land. Lesson for his life. Lack of thankfulness to God can lead to pride like I just finished saying. Even successful people must acknowledge the role of God as for others in their life. Don't just stand up and say, oh, I made it in my life. No, God always sent things, people, everything together, work together to bring you to where you are. So be thankful to God. Don't be like Azura here. Vital statistics, where Jerusalem, occupation, king of Judea, relative father, Amazia, mother, Jelicon, son, Jonathan, Jotam, Cataplar is uh, Zaya, Amos, Uzea, Jeroboam, Zechariah, Azira. The key verse in Jerusalem, he made machines designed by skillful men for use on the towers and, and on the corners def defense to shoot arrows and hurl large stones. His firm spread far and wide, for he was greatly helped until he became powerful. But after Uzziah became powerful, his pride led to his downfall. He was, that's why the Bible says, Pride go before a fall. He was unfaithful to, to the Lord, his God, and entered the temple of the Lord to burn incense on the altar of incense. Second Chronicles 26, 15, 16. Uzziah's story is told in Second Chronicles. Second Kings 15, 1, 7, where he is called Azura, and in Second Chronicles 26, 1, 23, he also mentioned he also mentioned in Isaiah 1, 1, 6, 7, 1, Uzziah, Uzziah 1, um, uh, 1, Amos 1, 1, Zechariah 14, 5. These machines were similar to the uh, cat, uh, caterpillar letters used by Romans and were capable of slinging stones or arrows a great distance. After God gave Uzziah great prosperity and power, he became proud and corrupt. It is true that pride goes before a destruction. I said it in Proverbs 16. I said it. <laughs> Amen, somebody. I just said it. 
that praise God before I fall. Let's read um second um the paragraph is second chronicle twenty chapter twenty six verse one. Bus. Then all the people of Judah took Uzzah, who was sixteen. No, let's read verse sixteen. Where are you, verse sixteen? Yeah. But after Uzzah became powerful, his pride led to his downfall. He was unfaithful to the Lord his God and entered the temple of the Lord to burn incense on the altar of incense. Azira the prince with eight other courageous princes of the Lord followed him in. They comforted him and said, It is not right for you, Uzziah, to burn incense to the Lord. That is for the prince. You know, the prince are the leaders. They're the only one that's supposed to do that. The descendant of Earth of error, okay, who have been concentrated to burn incense. Leave the sanctuary, for you have been faithful, unfaithful, and you will not be honored by the Lord God. Uzziah, who had a sail in his hand, ready to burn incense, became angry. While he was raging at the prince in their presence, before the incense altar in the Lord's temple, leprosy broke out on his forehead. When Azira the chief priest and all the other priests looked at him, they saw that he was he had leprosy on his forehead, so they hurried him out. Indeed, he himself was eager to leave because the Lord had afflicted him. We have to be careful when we disobey God, especially when we purpose, purpose, when we intentionally and just disobey God, knowingly disobey God, you gotta be careful about just disobeying God. <laughs> after God, uh, after God gave Uzziah great prosperity and power, he became proud and corrupt. It is true that pride goes before a fall in Proverbs 16, 18. If God has given you wealth, my brothers and sisters, if God has given you influence, if God has given you popularity, if God has given you power, if God has given you money, if God has given you connection, whatever God has given you, if God has given you life in general, be thankful. But be careful. God hates pride. He said in the, uh, in the Bible, he said, one thing I hate is a lying tongue and a pride person. God hates pride, guys. Please know that if you don't learn anything today. Why it is normal to feel ele ele uh, elevated or feel you are top of the world. When we accomplish something, it is wrong to be this, uh, this, this, uh, this dreamful of God or, this, uh, 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 or forget God. Or to look down on others because you got something. Check your attitude and remember to give God the credit for what you have. Use your gift in ways that please Him. Amen, somebody. What did I say? Rewind. Use your gift in the way that it pleases God. When people have power, they often think they can live above the law. That's why you see them, I'm this, I'm that. Oh! But even rulers are subject to God, as Uzziah discovered, no matter what your position in this world, no matter what your position in the society, God expects you to honor him, to worship him, and to obey him. Three things, no matter what you are, who you are, as long as you're alive. Only the dead, we don't know what they should do. But the living, hey, God has patriotism from you. You must obey God. You must honor God. You must worship God. Amen, somebody. For much of his life, Uzziah did what was right in the eyes of the Lord in uh, uh, Second Chronicle uh, 26, 4. But Uzziah turned away from God and he was stuck with leprosy and remained leprous until he's dead. My brothers and sisters, our disobedience to God intentionally, uh, uh, purposefully, just, just knowingly, might not be leprosy, like leprosy, leprosy, but it might be bigger than, even it might be worse than leprosy. So be careful. That according to the Bible, that leprosy was, it was lepro, it, that leprosy stayed with him until he's dead because of disobedience. Why are you going to go into the wrong road when the right road is open for you? 
we learn from all these people's mistakes so that we will not make that mistake. That's why this Bible, the Word of God, is here. And that is why the Word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. In the verse of Christ, we don't play with the Word of God because we are opening it. Every time you open a page, you learn the good things they did. You take away the mistake they make. You will not make it again because that is for us not to make that mistake but to learn the good things and trash the mistake in trash put it in trash put it in trash all right he is remembered more for his arrogant art and subsequent subsequent punishment than for his great reforms god requires long life god requires lifelong obedience sprouts of obedience are not enough small obedience mm -mm. Only he who stands firm to the end is who God is looking for. So if you like do everything today, or tomorrow you didn't do it, you are at the same time not doing nothing at all. So God requires long, lifelong obedience, lifelong obedience. My brothers and sisters, we got to know that. Spirit of obedience are not enough for God. God don't want that. Only he who stand, stand firm to the end will be, re will be rewarded. Mark 13, 13, be remembered, be remembered for your constant, consistent faith. Otherwise, you too may, be, may become more famous for your downfall than for your success. This was the year that God called Isaiah to be a prophet, Isaiah 6, 1. Jonathan was great, generally a good king, but his people become corrupt. Those you lead will not always follow your example, but that should not affect the way you live for God. Remember during the time of Moses, the people that Moses was leading, they, they annoyed Moses so much, they upset Moses so much, Moses did not obey God again. But they forgot to obey God. And that was what led Moses not to go to the land of Canaan. I know he argued, he went to God and I plead to God, he didn't argue, but plead to God over and over again. God, please. And God said, you know what? I'm done with you. I'll let you see it, but you will not step there. Why? Check back, go and read the Bible. It was the people that Moses was leading. The stiff neckers, the ungrateful generation. That's what, I didn't call them that. That's what God called them. God called them. So they are stiff neckers, they are ungrateful generation. They are ungrateful. And the lot of us in this world, we are all ungrateful. We don't know how to appreciate God. We don't know how to appreciate people around us. You know, people around us are the people God sent into our life. So when we do something, when you do, when they do something to you, be appreciative, be thankful. If you don't appreciate the person close to you, how are you going to appreciate God? You don't see. It's in the Bible. So we've got to be careful about that. The gentleman was generally a good king, but his people become corrupt. Those you lead will not always follow your example, but that should not affect the way you live for God like Moses did. Moses that, did that and missed a lot of things. This sinfulness of Jonathan's kingdom is vividly portrayed, portray, portrayed in Isaiah 1 5. The tribute, uh, the tribute he received amounted to three to three photos of silver and 62 blush, uh, bushes each of wheat and barrel. Imagine the mo mo imagine the mon uh, monstrous evil of religion that offers young children as sacrifice. What about religion that will kill people, young people as sacrifice? God allowed the nation to be conquered in response to Isaiah's evil practice. Even today, the practice has not ab 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 abated. Even today, the, the parties have not been taken away. They have not stopped it. The sacrifice of children to the ash god of covenant, economic, and whim continues in sterling medical facilities in numbers that will astun that will that will astun the wicked Azura. If we are to allow children to come to Christ, Matthew nineteen fourteen, we must first allow them to come into the world. Difficulties and struggles can devastate people or they, they can stimulate growth and maturity. For Zira, for, for Iha, deep troubles lead to spiritual collapse. We do not need to respond. We do not need to. 
respond like Azura when facing problems or tragedy, tragedy, tragedy. When facing problems or tragedy, we must remember that tough times gives us a chance to grow. James 1, 2 to 4. When you are facing trials, don't turn away from God at all. Turn to Him. See this time as an opportunity for you to claim God's help. Rewind joy. I say when you are facing trials and tribulation, my brothers and sisters, don't you ever turn away from God. Don't turn away from God. But instead, turn to God and see the, the, or the, the, the times as an opportunity for you to claim God's help. Ezekiah prophets is found in 2 Kings 18. Great revivals in the Bible, leader, reference, how the people responded. Moses, Exodus 32, 33, accepted God's law and built the tabernacle. 1 Samuel, Samuel, 1 Samuel 7, 2, 13, promised to make God first in their lives by destroying their idols. David, 2 Samuel 6, brought the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem, praised God with singing and musical instrument. Jezophet, 2 Chronicles 20, decided to trust in God alone to help them, and their discouragement turned to joy. Amen. Ezekiah, 2 Chronicles 29, 31, purified the temple. God read, got rid of idols, brought tithes, tithes, brought uh, tithes to God's house. Joash, a second, second Chronicles 34, 35, made a commitment to obey God's command and remove sinful influence from their lives. Azira, 9, 10, Agas, 1, stop associating with those who caused them to compromise their faith, renew their commitment to God's command, began rebuilding the temple. Nehemiah with Azariah. Nehemiah 8.10 fasted, confessed their sins, and read God's word publicly and promised in writing to again serve God wholeheartedly. Whatever we do, we need to serve God wholeheartedly. The Bible records several great revivals where people in great numbers turn to God and gave up their sinful ways of living. And I pray that we all turn to God. And that's going to be one of our prayers. Each revival was characterized by leaders, by leader who recognized his nation's spiritual dryness. And in each case, the leader took action and was not afraid to make his desire known to, to, to people. The Levites chose by God to serve in the temple and had been kept from their duty by, Azir, by Ahab wickedness in 28-24. But Ezekiah called them back into service, reminding them that the Lord has chosen them to minister. We may not have to face a wicked king, but pressures on pressures or responsibilities can render us inactive and ineffective. When you have been given the responsibility to minister, don't neglect your duty. If you have come in inactive in Christian service, either by choice or by circumstances, look for opportunities and listen to the Ezekiahs. God will send your God will send your way to help you resume to uh, resume your responsibility. So God will send someone your way. God will send someone your way to help you resolve or to help you get that responsibility done then like the levites be ready to be ready for action throughout the old testament the sacrifice was god's appointed way of approaching him and restoring a right relationship with god the sin offering made by Ezekiah was one such sacrifice given to ask god's god's forgiveness for unintentional sin and for more information on that, information on why God requires sacrifice and how they were carried out, see Leviticus 1. The blood sprinkle on the altar represented the innocence of the sacrificed animal, taking the place of the guilt of the person making the offering. The animal died 
tujisina tujarima die so the sinner could live this ritual looked forward to the day when jesus christ god when jesus christ god's perfect son will sacrifice his innocent life on the cross in order that the sinful guilt the sinful and guilty human race might be spared the punishment it deserved hebrew 10 1 to 14. a seer a seer was someone who received messages from God for the nation through vision or dreams. A seer, you can call it a seer or a prophet. A thank offering, one type of fellowship offering, see Leviticus 7, 12, 15, was given as an expression of gratitude towards God. As a fellowship offering, it symbolized restore peace and fellow, fellowship with God. My brothers and sisters, this end up our, our Bible study for today. Like I said, we always have uh, three prayers on each uh, prayer. The first prayer will be, God, help us to turn to you. God, help us to turn to you. God, we beg you to help us to turn to you. We want to turn to you, God. We want to turn to you to do right unto you, to serve you. God, help us to turn to you in the mighty name of Jesus. All my children all over the world, all the vassals of Christ, Father, non, non members of it. Father, help us to turn to you, O oh God. Help us to turn our life to you, to turn everything to you, not half, half hearted. But Father, help us to turn to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Masuke baladiye lata ye ma kikala kala 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 leke la kala kasi. Father, help us to turn to you, to know you more. Help us to draw closer to you because you are the air that we breathe. You are the you are, you are the bread that we eat. You are the water that we drink. You are the everything. Father, help us to turn to you. However, we have turned away from you. Whatever we have done directly or indirectly, knowing. Father, help us to turn to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help us to turn to you in the mighty name of Jesus. The next prayer is that Father, have mercy upon us. Forgive all our sin in the mighty name of every sin we committed all the way from 2022 to the day we are born. Father, now 2023, we have a new year. Let us be a new brand new woman being. Father, renew us, revive us, transform us. We have your way and we have your way, Father, in the name of Jesus in our life. Have mercy, have mercy, have, have mercy upon us. Change us around so that we can know you more. Mala ke 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 ke. Laki laki la kasa kalaba. Ye la kalaba si kilaba. Shi le kilaba si kila. Kele 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 kele. La kalaka la kisi. Ye kele barada. Father help us, oh God. Have mercy upon us according to your loving kindness. Have mercy, have mercy according to unfailing love. Forgive our trespasses. Forgive the sin we committed knowingly, unknowingly, the indirect, the small, the big. Be, please, God, forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, the third prayer is God, help us to serve you to the end. Woo! Father, help us to serve you to the end. Fully serve you to the end. Not what Isaiah did. Did well uh, according to the According to the Bible verse I read, that he did well in the first time. God gave him all the power, prosperity, fame. But now, you, after all said and done, pride took over him. He didn't know. Pride go before him. He didn't know what he was doing. Pride took over him. He was like, oh, they're my success. Father, in the name of Jesus, do not let us forget you. Do not let us forget you. Father, remove pride out of our life. Remove pride out of our life. Help us, O oh God. To serve you, thank you, Holy Spirit. Help us, oh God, to serve you all the way to the end in the name of Jesus. Help us, all my children, all over the world, Father. Help all of us, my divisions of Christ members, non-members, people that are coming across this 
preaching, on real community, on all social media. Father, help us to save you all the way. Do not let us end on the side or on the halfway. Help us to serve you all to the end in the name of Jesus so that you will gain the glory. Father, help us to serve you all the way. Remove pride from our life. Remove lying lips from our life. Remove sin in totally from our life. Help us to serve you all the way. Malake lebo lakiti. Le tete sakalaba. Shili kalaba natia. Le tete saka. Father, help us to serve you forever. Serve you to the end. Push us and help us and protect us to serve you to the end. Remove all the sin from our life. Sin no 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 in the mark labi yeke in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, my brothers and sisters. This end up our Bible study for today, and every time we end our Bible study, we always end with music. Like I would say, I love you, but God loves you more. Bet you all, bet you all. Amen. And we end with our music. Thank you. Amen. Mm -hmm.